big chemical companies don't start treating Mother Nature like the foxy lady that she is, natural wetlands like the swamp will be history. Any questions, class? Yeah. Uh, are you going to the Frampton concert tonight, Mr. Marsh? Oh, man. No can do, Woody. My old lady and I, world open. He even wrote our own vows and everything, man. Right on, man. All right, now, my little learning partners, it's time to rock and roll. So let's get those field samples in the van. And please do not get any mud on the shag. <laughs> oh, baby. Now, marriage is going to be one stove through. A oh, bummer, man. Wow! Can I pick out the A-track for the ride home? Marsh! Whoa! Trippy bubbles. the world's a pretty big place but do you ever wonder if there's someone out there who's perfect for you i mean that person could be anywhere but if you're lucky if you're really lucky that person could even be in your third period english class oh blessed blessed night i am a feared a fear afraid being a knight, all this is but a dream, too flattering, sweet, to be substantial. Dear Romeo, if that thy vent of love be honorable, thy purpose, marriage, send me word tomorrow by one that blah, I'll... Blah, blah, blah. And then they die. Another piece of literature propping up the myth of romantic love. Well, don't be fooled. Take it from me. Love simply does not exist. Now, who's coming to my wedding this weekend? Well, whatever. So, what do you think Mackie skills? Uh, well, I, I thought that you combined the articulation of Arnold Schwarzenegger with the emotional range of Jean-Claude Van Damme. Thanks, man. Hey, Hugo, can I ask you something? Carry on. Dawkins, if you want to attend my bachelor party, be at Chuck E. Cheese at 7 p.m. sharp. Sign up with Mother. No, I, I was wondering about you and Miss Baxter. Miss Baxter, are you sure about marrying Hugo? <sighs> Look, sweetie, life may be all sunshine and Pop-Tarts for you right now. But when you get to be my age, a woman has a better chance of winning the lottery than she does of finding a husband. Of course, uh, if I win before Saturday, wedding's off. Ought to be my maid of honor. Well, you know, I, uh... Sure. How did you know she was the one for you? I'm more interested in the pension and tax benefits that marriage can provide. And I'll finally get someone to repaint the house. Move some old furniture. By carpooling, our gasoline savings will exceed $300 per annum. Married couples also enjoy reduced car insurance premiums. Most importantly, spouses cannot testify against each other in a court of law. And we'll get half off Sunday brunch at the Happy Trails Motor Inn. <laughs> Gee, it uh, sounds like true love. <laughs> Cleaning up our swamp. No way. Now we're gonna dump all our junk. The lake? It's so big. You think of something, Broski. Don't worry. We still rule. Lunch money. GG rules! Hey, let's go. Swamp cleanup? No thanks. Somebody! I did my time in that toxic mud hole. I was looking for the fabled swamp creature. I couldn't find it. Shit, I'm gonna go to the swamp. The place is a nest. Hey, Tommy. You coming to the cleanup? Yeah. Yeah, I've been looking all over for this sign-up sheet. I couldn't find it. See you there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See you. Thanks for 
coming today, Tommy. Yeah, well, you know me. I'm an environmental type of guy. <laughs> well, you're not exactly an eco-warrior. <laughs> Why did you come here today? Why do you think? You got something underneath your eye. Oh. Did I get it? No, here, let me get it. There you go. Thanks. Close your eyes. I want to make sure that I got it all. It was a perfect moment. But just as I was about to kiss her, it happened again. What's the matter? Nothing. I, uh... More trash. Gotta go. Not the best time to turn into a werewolf. But then again, not like I had a choice. excited around girls, Tommy. Some guys sweat, other guys drool. I'm more of a word fumbler, but you just happen to turn into a monster. I mean, what if Stacy's my soulmate? But I can never be with her because of my... First of all, the so-called soulmate is a concept invented in 1953 by the Hallmark Corporation to sell greeting cards. Don't worry, things will be fine. You and Stacy will settle down, raise 2.2 kids. Don't you mean 2.2 puppies? <laughs> I don't know, Stacy deserves better than that. Let's go. <laughs> Never wear the frock when you're bowling. I'm a werewolf, so I'm used to things being a little strange. But at school this morning, things were even stranger than usual. What's, uh, what's going on, Hugo? Just cordoning off a crime scene. And on my wedding day, no less. Oh, was, uh, was anyone hurt? A lot of hearts were broken when I took myself off the market. The lunch lady in particular took it very hard. Look at all this slime. It looks like a Nickelodeon game show. Well... You have fun playing with your goo, Merton. I gotta, gotta get to shop. If I'm late, Mr. Mr. Sicko puts my head in a vice, so... Yeah. Oh! That's right. I eat slime. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> cool. Cyanobacterium and chlorophytum, basic swamp scum. Whoa, what's that? It's alive, Tommy! It's so it's a little undercooked, but... No, I analyzed the slime in the hallway. It was swamp scum, but it wasn't just swamp scum. It was woven into the oh-so-familiar configuration of a double helix. Human DNA with algae. Tommy, the swamp thing is real. <laughs> What are you saying, that there's some swamp dude walking around our school? Well, not necessarily a dude. It could be a swamp dudette. I found this in the swamp scum. What, that's Stacy's bread. Better get back to her. No, but I think she's sick today. She was in an English class. Oh, 
no, Tommy. Situation critical. This is just like the 1989 film Return of the Swamp Thing, featuring Heather Locklear in a failed bid for big screen stardom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened? I guess the fickle American public prefers her as a small screen vixen. In the movie, Merton. What happened in the movie? The swamp creature brought her back to his murky domain. Stacy! That was all it took. I wolfed out and made a beeline to the swamp. Wait up! Not everybody can run on four legs. Nobody kidnapped Stacy. I'm gonna kick this thing's butt. Oh! Werewolf versus Swamp Thing. It was about to get ugly. Technically, she's not really your girl. Oh, that's nasty. Oh. Sena, aren't you a werewolf? Far out. Hey, man, I'm not about judgment. I'm about harmony. If you hurt Stacy. I would never hurt anyone. Your lady friend just slipped on my swampy mucus. Oh, it's gnarly, I know. But I couldn't just leave her in the school hallway. So I brought her over to my pad. Shh. She's resting. Sure, he was kind of slimy and, yeah, he talked funny. But once I saw Stacy was okay, I realized that Swampy wasn't that bad. Uh, hi. Oh, I'm sorry, young lady. I, I didn't mean I didn't mean to freak you out. That's all right. Uh, if this stuff doesn't come out, I'm really gonna freak. Uh, can I have some more of those petrochemical products? They really hit the spot. Thank you. Mm. Oh, oh, by the way, kudos on the swamp cleanup, gang. You, you really got rid of all those toxic pollutants. Unfortunately, without a toxic habitat, I'm a goner, man. What were you doing at the school? I mean, we're looking for asbestos or something? Well, the truth is, I used to teach at Pleasantville High. And man, was I ever in love with the most foxy teacher at the school. You see, Beatrice and I were about to elope. But fate, man, toxic, slimy fate kept us apart. I only hope that she didn't become harshed out in the ways of love. Mr. Marsh, actually, Miss Baxter's getting married this afternoon. Oh, man, I knew I should have been on the scene before now. But I felt so hideous. Well, nobody knows what it's like to have a monster inside you. Well, maybe Tommy does. What do you mean? Uh, well, it's because I'm picking up some real understanding vibes from Tommy, you dig? <laughs> well, if it's true love, then it won't matter what you look like or how long you've been gone or whether you're half man, half plant. Maybe I can get back into that funky groove with B. I'm gonna swing by the swamp and pick up the old wedding ring in case she still wants to rock and roll. And yeah, we'll go hold back Miss Baxter. I'll meet you there, okay? Because I'm not going to school looking like this. Yeah, and, and you should maybe, you know, tidy up a little. Do some pruning here and there. I've got hedge clippers in the tool shed. Marty's back? Who put you kids up to this nasty joke? Oh, it's not a nasty joke, Miss Baxter. Oh, well, you may find the punchline a little nauseating. <laughs> but I digress. It was B who wanted a civil ceremony here at the factory. I pushed for the Muhlenberg Cathedral. She wanted fewer witnesses. No dumping? So what do you want to do with the sign, Trav? Dump it! <laughs> hey, uh, 
Part of you that still believes in true love, you'll wait just a few minutes longer. We're gonna make a fortune off this freak. Oh. Shut up! Oh. You hear that? The swampy's here. He's in trouble. Yeah, fine. I'll just stay here and tend to the women folk. The wolf man. Meet again. You're toast. Let's get ready to rumble. Swampy made a pretty good team taking on TNT. But from here on out, he was on his own. That's it. Time's up. Marty's not coming. Just like 25 years ago. Miss Baxter, please! I was a fool to believe in true love then or now. So, if you'll excuse me, I have to get married. Oh, no. Miss Baxter? I guess Swampy changed a little bit over the years. Strangest dream. You were in it. You were in it? Mm. Oh, and the weird kid, too. Oh, and. Hey, baby. <laughs> Marty? Is that you? Right on, B. It's me. But what happened? Do you look so. Oh, I know. Do you remember when I took that bio class into the swamp? Well, I had a, a little accident. I fell into the polluted water while I was looking for this. Marty. Oh, no, baby, I, I know I'm not groovy to look at. and My, my body kind of oozes toxic slime. But I'm still the same old Marty on the inside. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I don't go and marry that other jive turkey. Marry me. Marty, I will. Oh, far out, baby. Again, who claim to have had a fight that's rather interesting. Can you tell us what happened, boys? Wolfman, Swamp Thing, we know you're out there. We want a rematch. Steel Cage, Battle Royale, no holds barred. You're going down. TNT rules. From the side.
kind of more disturbing teenage behavior. I'm Sally Dawkins, signing off. So, things didn't work out between Hugo and Miss Baxter. Will you please marry me, lunch lady? But don't you worry about him. I've got a nice ring. It only took six cereal box tops. So it was a happy ending for everybody. Well, maybe not everyone. Oh, it's so romantic. Choosing to be together forever, above all else. Yeah. I mean, if you were in love and, and the guy was a monster, that would be okay, right? Yeah, my only other choice was Hugo.